Hi there, my name is William Ryan Rapp, and I will be going over two reading strategies that I've gone over so far in my freshman composition class. The first idea I will be going over is active reading, which is very fundamental when it comes to trying to physically engage with the text. So let's go over the first and probably the most important part of actively reading, and it is to stop reading like a zombie. It has been a huge problem forever. How often have you read an article online or watched a movie spaced out and had no clue what you just read or saw? And you have to reread it or rewatch it to try and understand it. Pretty often. Right? Well, I know that I've been dealing with it my whole life. And I have just now started really paying attention to it. So some great ways to keep yourself from reading like a zombie and being more actively understanding what you're reading takes us to our next big point of active reading. Which is physically engaging with the text. You're probably thinking, how do I get physical with the text? Or, what am I reading? And it's quite simple. And I'm sure you have done it a lot in high school, and that is highlighting big points of views, information, sentences, or paragraphs that might go along with the main idea that will help you understand what you're reading. That takes us to our next big point on active reading, which has a lot to do with physically engaging with the text, and that is annotating. Annotating is a huge part of getting better, getting a better understanding of the text because you are not just highlighting but making comments on what you're reading to give your point of view on the main idea or label pros and cons to a certain paragraph depending on the article. There are so many ways to get a better understanding on the text when you utilize annotating. The next point, which has a lot to do with what we just discussed, is having a conversation with the writer. A huge part of everything that involves actively reading with the text is actively having a conversation with the writer because it can help you get the main idea or ideas that they are trying to put across in the text. Utilizing having a conversation with the writer will put you in a point where you're using all of these strategies because you have to, one, physically engage with the text to start to even understand what the writer is talking about, two, annotate to give your opinion on the main idea and some comments towards certain portions of the text that you are reading, which will set you up to be able to have a conversation with the writer to give you a better understanding on not reading, but actively reading. The next strategy is pre-reading strategies, which is more of the prequel to whatever you're deciding to read. And a good start to pre-reading a text is to find out what the text is about to help you get a better understanding and also giving you the ability to look up what you're reading about before you dip into the text. To make sure you're not reading like a zombie and able to actively read the text, another great strategy is concluding each paragraph. Summarizing each paragraph as you go helps you get a better, get a way better understanding of what you're reading because it creates less words that you have to worry about. One of the most prominent strategies is finding out what the author's approach, for example, is finding out what the author's approach is. For example, let's say that an author is taking talking about how Marvel is way better than DC. That's their opinion. And now you can tell that the point that they are trying to make or put across is opinionated. But now let's switch some words around. Let's say that the author says Marvel is way better than DC. All right, now they're doing better than DC is. They're giving information like box office sales, Ron Tomato rates and reviews. If that's the case, and they're still giving their opinion on the matter, but there's also giving factual information on why their opinion is valid. So their approach would be opinionated and evidential, can give you a better understanding to help you actively read and engage in the text while taking their claims into accountability, so you're not reading like a zombie. Here's a great example of myself using these strategies in action. As you can see here, the paragraph is talking about how men that aren't actively taking care of the children can have their wages garnished by collecting DNA samples from individuals that can produce sperm and make a national registry. And I commented on this uh, with how making men responsible for pregnancies would be possible. I only used one sentence, but I've used multiple pre-reading and reading strategies. I've highlighted the text, which is physically engaging with it. I've annotated by not just highlighting, but by making a comment on the text. And I've concluded the text to just a sentence, which is a summary of what is going on in the paragraph to help me get a better understanding of what I'm reading. 
Let's look at one more example of these strategies being put to work. In this paragraph it states, why does it seem improbable that the state would interfere with bodily anatomy, sexual freedom, and financial independence? Because this effort would most likely affect cisgender heterosexual men. Somehow, their rights do matter. I annotated that paragraph and commented all genders do have rights to their own bodies. But we are currently in an age where genders are becoming not based on biology, though that still shouldn't single out people that are cisgender. I started off this comment by having a conversation with the writer while also giving my opinion, which shows that I'm having an active conversation with the writer while also giving my point of view while still understanding the main idea of the paragraph in this annotation. I have used all the strategies we have talked about, I physically engaged with the text by highlighting it. I annotated the text by not just highlighting but commenting on the paragraph. And I've also pre-read the paragraph and got some information to support my opinion by stating that all genders have equal rights to another. As you notice, I didn't really conclude my paragraph compared to the last one, and that's okay. You don't have to use every strategy on every paragraph or sentence that you read as long as you show a basis of understanding, actively reading, and pre-reading the text to all around give you the best understanding of the text that you are reading. Thank you for watching my presentation. Goodbye.